analyze, recognize, and capitalize, ARC. Analyzing involves answering some questions to create your own uh, uh, cultural profile, a little bit like a Myers-Briggs profile, that kind of thing, or a DISC profile if you're familiar mm -hmm. with that system. Yeah. Um, and then you can do that for the person that you're working with um, or the country that you're working in so that you can identify the, uh, your tendencies and their tendencies. And then for those eight dimensions, there are going to be some tendencies probably that are different for the two of you where you have significant differences. And those are the ones to focus on. I call mm. those the critical dimensions. Mm. So if you're the same, if you're both uh, strongly rule oriented, that dimension's not gonna give you any trouble. You don't even need to read about it. But if you are very different for that dimension, then that's one you wanna read about. You wanna figure out how the other person thinks. So the book tells you, well, if you're one way and the, and the person you're dealing with is, is the opposite on that spectrum, how do they think? What do they care about? What are their values? What do they worry about? What don't they like about people like you with your mm -hmm. tendencies? So you are fully aware then of how you see the world and how they see the world. And then you can begin to look at ways to use the things that they're good at and combine them with the things that you're good at and make mm -hmm. sure that you are performing uh, your best in the environment that, that you have. Well, so can... What is the best way to figure out what the tendencies of someone is and where do they fall along this spectrum? Uh, is it best for the boss to assess uh, the, uh, the subordinate or from one person to assess the other or a team of people to assess the other or can we assess ourselves? Yes. Um, so as I said, you can answer a series of questions and create your own profile. Mm. Um, and then for doing it for other people, there are three ways. You can ask them to, to answer the same questions. So if you were a manager of a team, that would be a very good thing to do. Hmm. Um, I, when I work with a multicultural team, that's where I start. I, uh, I have everybody do a cultural profile, and then we map them all onto one chart and look at the spectrum. Hmm. So then we can say, oh, this person's very uh, quiet and isn't going to give much feedback, and they're going to become silent on this team because we've got such a big talker and such an aggressive personality here. These two people are going to have to work hard to integrate their approach. So we can, we can map all that out. So one way to do it, the easiest way of course, is to have the other person, your international contact, uh, do a chart, uh, answer those same questions and fill out a profile. Um, maybe you don't know that person yet. Um, and so in that case, you can go on my website, deardreamendez.com, and you can look at the, uh, a profile of the country that they come from. Now, as I said, those country profiles are lumping millions of people into one set of categories. Hmm. That is not, it, that is only a starting point. Right. But then when you meet that person, you can say, okay, well, the profile of this country predicted that this person was always going to be late for everything. But they're actually extremely punctual and very organized. I don't think this fits. And then you can modify the profile according to uh, what you've seen in that person. So three methods. One is have them answer the questions. Second method is um, uh, look at a country profile to get a preliminary idea. Third method, observe them and ask questions.